So if you've spent any time online, I guarantee you you're at least familiar with one of Patrick's videos. Patrick, I'm a big fan of Ad At Day Afternoon myself, but what's one of your favorite videos that you've done? Well, yeah, Ad At Day Afternoon is one of my last one and I'm pretty happy with it. And also, it's it gave me the opportunity to buy this toy that I wouldn't buy actually because I'm a grown up and I, <laughs> I'm not supposed to buy toys. And I buy toys all the time and I play with them and I don't even make a living off of playing with toys. So you are actually making a living making stop motion videos, films of these toys and a lot of them are set in the real world. So what are some challenges of doing stop motion in the real world? At, at the afternoon was a kind of challenge because I wanted to mix stop motion animations with uh, puppetry. And also, usually I shoot my stop motions at 15 shots per second. This one is uh, in 24, so it takes much more precision and it's sometimes much more longer to do. Uh, but since most of the shots were made with the toy as a puppet, it was easier for me and faster as well. So uh, I just had to figure out how to remove my hands and the different things that I use to hold the character. Now, a lot of your videos are super viral, like people have seen these thousands, you know, Iron Baby, over a million hits. What are some of the challenges in making a good viral video? And do you seek to make something viral when you make it, or does it just sort of happen? Yeah, I seek to it. Uh, Iron Baby, it's something that I created with a friend of mine who uh, did all the 3D job. Uh, and basically, we started the project with creating a viral clip in mind. That was the goal we were trying to reach. And I knew it would work because babies are popular and Iron Man was popular, so you just had to mix them together and make it short because long things don't go viral and that's it. How has technology changed filmmaking for you? Uh, because something like this in the past would have been very time consuming, right? And in terms of reaching people, how is uh, things like YouTube benefacting you? Well, YouTube is the best platform there is actually to present uh, your stuff. With YouTube, you touch the planet <laughs> so fast. If you manage to create a public, have subscribers on YouTube, then it can get big. And also when I started, the Transformers were popular as well. So that's why I started with animating Transformers. And then I built my subscribers. So in the next month and next years, I'm gonna be trying to make more live action stuff on my channel to be able to show that I'm not just doing animation. Because you're a man of many talents. Well, Patrick, I gotta say, no matter what it is you do, I'm gonna be watching it because I'm a subscriber. So thanks for chatting Thank with you. me. It's been a thrill. Thank you.